Now, you have been seeing articles making rounds on social media suggesting that yesterday in eastern Uganda, a man killed a lion. And you have been asking yourself, is it true? Now, I have come to tell you what exactly happened. In other news, the president of NUP, that is His Excellency Bobby Wine, meets Jacob Olanya's father today after arriving in northern Uganda safely. Subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, the president of NUP, that is His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, yesterday arrived in Gulu safely. Uh, he met with Ambrose Ola, the Prime Minister of the Acholi Cultural Institution, and they had a closed meeting. Now, the Prime Minister, however, said in their meeting, the matters of discussion were not political. We received him, and uh, yeah, he told us he condoles with the Acholi people over the loss of, of uh, the speaker. It was a private visit, not any visit for any other intention. Issues pertaining to the death of a person is discussed after either three days for a man or four days for a woman. So it would be uncultural for us to engage in any discussion about the death of uh, the late at this point in time. Now, Olara Otun, veteran politician from northern Uganda, said people shouldn't be deceived that there are differences between the people of Buganda and northern region. Not allow yourselves to fall into a trap of a contrived conflict of fighting between Buganda and Acholi. There's nothing to fight over. There's no reason for any such uh, conflict. This is being fanned by cynical people for their own purposes. I associate myself 100% with the submission of uh, Ambassador Olara Otuno. Now, some people have been saying that Bobby Wine missed Jacob Olanya's barrio because of the warning that had been put up by some people from northern Uganda. Uh, you remember there is a member of parliament, I think she's called Lillian Abba. She came out and said that Bobby Wine has to first apologize to the people of Acholi, otherwise they won't allow him to attend the barrio of Jacob Olanya. But Bobby Wine says he missed because he had to attend the important work he had to do in Geneva. On, on coming uh, here, like I mentioned in my opening remarks, I was unable to make it for the barrio. I would have loved so much, but because of important work that I had to do in Geneva, I missed the barrio. However, on return, I drove directly here to condole with the family, with the people, and with the leaders. And indeed, we delivered on that directive. We were present, a very big delegation from NUP, Northern Uganda office, uh, led also among others by the chair, chairman of court. We went with our wreath, we laid the wreath, we were recognized. And when the presidential, the, 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 the political party president, we are called to go and lay the wreath. I stood up and represented my president. Bobby Wine today is heading to Oyam to commiserate with Jacob Olanya's family. And of course, I'll keep you posted on that. Now, in other news, according to the news that is coming in from Iganga district, that is in eastern Uganda, yesterday morning, a yet-to-be-identified man killed a lion. Now, according to the reports making rounds, this man met this lion as it was walking near his home, and he decided to fight and kill it. However, although he succeeded in killing it, he survived with serious injuries and he's currently admitted in hospital. Other people are saying that maybe the lion was too old and other people are saying that uh, maybe it was a small dog. But really, guys, I mean you're seeing a dead lion is right there. What are you saying? What are you talking about? <laughs> but anyway, Uganda Wildlife Authority has come out and refuted the claims that are making rounds suggesting that this man killed the lion. Uganda Wildlife Authority says that is not true. That is not true. This man cannot kill a lion. 
But honestly, judging by the looks, this man doesn't look like he can kill a lion. Huh? <laughs> and I think that's why they say, don't judge a book by its cover. Otherwise, personally, if it is true that he killed a lion, hey, then man, he's a brave man. He's really a brave man and I salute him so big time. But of course, uh, you know, the Uganda Wildlife Authority has come out and said that it's not true that, uh, you know, this man killed a lion. And of course, you know, right here on the Buzz UG, we go by what has been officially communicated. Anyway, that is it from Iganga, Eastern Uganda. And of course, I'll keep you posted on every other development. Uh, what you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. We are striving to hit our target, which is 20k subscribers. Yeah, don't forget about that. Right now, we are talking about 11.1. And uh, of course, we shall be hitting that target very, very soon. Thank you.